What's up guys? I'm back with another video and I'm so pumped about this one. Shout out to Zounds. This video is actually sponsored by Zounds. They just sent me this Squire P base um, that I'm actually really excited to try out. And what, what we're doing today is we're basically going to swap everything out. The bridge, the tuners, the pickups. And uh, this, this video was inspired by my friend Travis Dykes. He actually did this. Um, and I was like, man, instead of going out and buying or getting this super expensive P base, let's do that. Let's grab a, a, a more inexpensive base and then change out the pickups and then just modify it all. Um, and so he did that. He had a friend which, who was a Luther and um, they got to building it and you should go check that video out. It's on his YouTube channel. If you don't follow him, make sure you go do that. Subscribe to his channel, follow him on Instagram. But um, just the sound quality he got after was just insane, which just may sounds great already. But um, obviously with all the modifications, it sounds better, it looks great. So I thought I'd do the same thing. Um, so shout out to Zounds for sending this bass out. They also sent me some EMG pickups um, that we're gonna be installing today. They sent me some black tuners, uh, which I'm happy about. I wanted everything to be blacked out on this base. And then unfortunately, they didn't have the black bridge. They had it in chrome. But uh, uh, this is a DIY project for me. I don't know what I'm doing, I'll be honest. I don't know what I'm doing. I've seen some videos and um, I've soldered before. So I bought a solder kit. I got tools. We're gonna make this out. This is a DIY project. So when I, they said they only had the chrome, so they sent me the chrome um, and I looked online on how I can make this black hot, if I could spray paint it, I know that's super ghetto, but I didn't want this to be the only thing that wasn't black on the base. So I found something online, I gotta sand it down, we're gonna sand that down here in a sec, and then I got primer and black spray paint and we're gonna, we're gonna paint that and hopefully it looks good. <laughs> uh, but I'm excited to just kind of dig in I start kind of just pulling this base apart and uh, hopefully I don't mess it up. <laughs> but I'm excited, I'm excited just to try, figure this out, I've never done this. Like I said, I've seen some videos, but I think it's gonna be a really cool project. Again, one more time, thank you Zounds. thank you for all the gear. A lot of the gear you see back here has been sent from them. A lot of the gear that you see on my videos is being sent by them. I'm grateful, super thankful for you guys. Thank you, Billy sending out all this gear and just for the great relationship you and I have thank you so much so without further ado let's dig in so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in directly um, into my studio gear I'm gonna go from the base directly into one of my preamps the Alicia preamp that's all you're gonna hear is direct there's no there's no pedals there's no processing this is what the base sounds like direct and with with the stock um, pickups and, and all that good stuff and that way you can kind of hear what it sounds like before the modifications and then we'll do um, after the modifications we'll do another uh, sound test and that way you can see you can tell the difference you can see or you can hear the differences between uh, stock and with the EMG pickups so here we go alright here we go so I got the volume knob all the way up and then the tone uh, volume which actually fell uh, the entire tone uh, volume knob is all the way up as well so this is what that sounds like this now is um, volume all the way up with the tone about halfway. Here we go. Sounds pretty good. This is gonna be like my CCM bass, um, which I'm excited to, which I, again, I think it sounds great uh, the way it is right now, uh, but obviously um, changing these pickups is gonna change a little bit. Um, these are stock pickups versus, and then these are also Squire pickups. They're not even the higher end stuff. So um, again, sounds great. Could sound better. It's going to sound better. So without further ado, let's get into taking this bass 
apart and um, start installing all the new stuff. Here we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outside and I'm going to sand this down real quick and do the first coat of paint, which is the primer, and then let that dry for a sec, and then we'll throw the actual paint on it and try to get this looking as best as possible. Here we go. All right, I left my camera inside, but I'm gonna sand this down real quick. Hopefully, we can get it to where we want it to be at. I'm hoping I don't mess this up. <laughs> It's not as easy as it seems. <laughs> All right, let's throw the primer. We'll see what's up. All right. Doesn't look bad. I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit and then um, apply the next coat. See how it does. Man, it's hot out there. If you've never been to Houston, you're up for a rude awakening because it's hot here and humid. Anyways, I left that, I painted it, the bridge, and then I left that drying out there. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and start taking everything off of here so we're gonna on the electronics and <laughs> we'll see how it goes all right we're gonna go ahead and take the strings off of the base I'm not sure if you can hear that but if you can that's um, the where the studio is located at the church it's actually in the Spanish church side so there's sanctuaries right there and they have they're practicing and stuff, so just in case you hear that. I'm trying to preserve these strings as best as possible because I um, I didn't buy any <laughs> new strings, so I'm gonna try to put these back on for now for test purposes until I can actually get these replaced. All right, let's take this bridge off. Bridge is off, guys, nasty gash. Bridge is off, a little cheap Squire bridge. <laughs> so that can go over there. That's off. Now, let's take the tuners off actually you know what I just noticed this piece that holds the two strings the last two strings is silver so we're gonna go ahead and paint this as well yep we're gonna paint this so that it all matches and then we're gonna take these headstocks I mean sorry not headstocks we're gonna take these tuners off oh. I'm doing guys I've never done this in my life <laughs> but I'm excited to like to be able to say hey I've done this before it's cool there's the first one off and while we're at it we're just gonna go ahead and start putting the new ones on so the holes are kind of off which should be interesting and putting these oh you know what I didn't even notice this see we're learning guys as we go so these have these metal rings in the front and it came with some black ones so we're gonna replace these as well if I can get them out There we go. 
I did the trick. Took that out, and we got a whole new set here of the black ones. So it all matches. Got the black ones here. Oh, lovely. These don't fit. Wow. Well, that's unfortunate. Yep, they don't fit, which means we're going to have to paint all of these black, <laughs> which we'll go outside and do that here in a sec. The other problem I see here is that the holes are not the same, unfortunately. So we're probably going to have to make some new holes. And hopefully, again, don't know what I'm doing, so hopefully... I don't completely mess this up. <laughs> but if I do, we can always take it to Luther and be like, look, I did not succeed. <laughs> I tried to do it myself. I was unsuccessful. But um, I think the experience of learning how to do this um, is fun. So why not? Things are hard to get off. Again, I'm not a Luther guy, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying anything to get these things out. And uh, this seems to be working, so. We're just gonna keep trying this. One more. to get out. I know so many of you guys are probably laughing at me at this point. <laughs> but that's okay. Alright. Alright, so the paint so far has been a complete fail. <laughs> but, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. And that's okay with me. Um, like I said, we're just DIY. We're learning as we go. If it doesn't work, at some point, I'll just replace the bridge with um, with a black one once uh, they come in stock. But for now, we'll just roll with this and um, go on from there. But let's try to work on some of this electronic stuff, which again, I'm new to as well. So. We're going to find out and see um, if I can actually do this. <laughs> Alright, we got this thing open. Again, I still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, we're figuring it out as we go. This is wild, bro. I've never done this. Open the base up like this. Pickups are off. Now, um, let's figure out the rest. I don't know how to solve it. I don't know how these cables go, but we're gonna figure it out as we as we go. We'll look at a video. Let me unbox this real quick. Here we got the EMG precision base pickups. Heard a lot of good stuff about these. So we're about to find out. That cable. We got pickups. These are sick. And then we got the uh, input jack. We got volume knobs. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. We're about to find out. We're about to learn.
All right, guys, looks like I've got all my electronics connected. This was an easy process. I bought a soldering kit and I didn't even need a solder. Insane, but it is what it is. Um, EMG is all like, um, there's no soldering. You just connect cables into the volume. It's got like little prongs that you can um, do that with, which is nice. So that saved a lot of time and hassle, which I'm happy about. So now I'm gonna try to put all this stuff back together and um, see how we're doing. I connected it already to see if there was sound and there was. So that's good. Trying to get all this to fit in is now the fun part, the challenge, but we're about there. Almost there. So we got it. Let's uh Put a few of these screws in so that it doesn't move anymore. Okay. Looks like I stripped this one already. <laughs> oh, the joy, guys. I'm learning. Y'all, I'm sure so many of you are going to laugh at me, but I've never done this. If I need work on my bases done, just take it somewhere. Um, so this is completely new for me, but I'm enjoying the process, even if I'm terrible at it. I will say, pickups are connected and they work, so I did something right. All right, well, we got that, thankfully. Next pickup. Alright, I messed up the bridge. <laughs> it's awful. It won't the paint will stay, so I'm just gonna wait. Go ahead and wait for a black bridge to come in stock. I'll install it later, but for now I'm just gonna put the bridge that was back on there. But these I did end up painting black and uh they look great. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on now on the base so we can put the tuners on. Here we go. All right, well, since the bridge didn't work, unfortunately, we're gonna have to go back with the stock bridge um, for now until I can actually get the black bridge that I was, that, that I wanted. So, I'm gonna get this installed. All right, like I said earlier, I got these knobs from Amazon, um, about 10 bucks, I think, for a set of four. So I am currently installing those on here. And uh, I actually really like these, they're pretty cool. All right, the last thing to do is put the strings back on. I <laughs> uh, got the knobs on already. Put the old bridge back on for now. And um, yeah, we're about to get some sound and see how this thing sounds. What's up guys? All right, so base is finished. Looks great. I'm happy with it. Um, sounds great too. So let's check it out. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, let me know if you can even tell the difference from stock pickups and all uh, versus the new MGs. Here we go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'm wanting to do more gear content, more studio content, travel content, POV content. Uh, for you guys, I know you guys enjoy it. You guys send me messages all the time saying, man, we love this content. Please keep coming with more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed 
the mess that I did <laughs> today in this video. But uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.